I think we've left the city in really, really good shape. At the age of 57, Mayor Mitch Landrieu leaves office as the 61st mayor of New Orleans. Turning over City Hall to Mayor-elect Latoya Cantrell, he departs 40 years after his father, Moon Landrieu, ended his tenure as mayor in 1978. Serving two terms after Ray Nagin, Landrieu hailed eight years as the city's leader, leaving a legacy of achievements and controversy for the Crescent City. From a $1 billion airport, a new World Trade Center, new riverfront, more commercial developments, and tech jobs, New Orleans is continuing to grow. A major pillar of Landrieu's legacy is the removal of the Robert E. Lee, PGT Beauregard, and Jefferson Davis statues and the Liberty Place Monument, Confederate symbols placed in New Orleans during the Jim Crow era. I'm very proud of that decision and I'm very proud of the people of New Orleans because as you know now people across the country are mirroring what it is that we're doing. Landrieu's push for the removals, which was approved by the New Orleans City Council, drew ire and legal action from those who wanted the monuments to stay where they were. That controversial and emotional moment and the efforts it took leading up to it is now described in his book titled In the Shadow of Statues, a White Southerner Confronts History, Yet Another Feather in the Outgoing Mayor's Hat. Violence still plagues the Big Easy, but from the time Landrieu took office, the murder rate is down. I don't want to sugarcoat this. We have a very serious problem with violence in this city, and the culture of violence has permeated this city for a long period of time. It's something that I spent a lot of time on. I wish that I could have made more progress. The city's cultural economy is stronger than ever, making New Orleans a top tourist destination among U.S. and international visitors. It's also become a success story about the comeback of a disaster-stricken area, as well as an example of perseverance. Anywhere you go on Earth, you will hear our sound, and you will find something on the menu prepared New Orleans style. Our city is a place that lives in the imagination of the world. But some of the biggest criticism of Landrieu's time has been over his position as president of the Sewage and Water Board, which suffered a severe setback during the August 5th flooding in 2017. Heavy rains crushed the utility's drainage system. The Sewage and Water Board, has, we have invested a lot of money in it, but it is, a, it is the oldest system in America. It's too old, it's too obsolete. Today, the two-term mayor remains in the spotlight, being questioned on whether he'll ever run for political office again. I'm not running for president. Uh, I hear all that chatter. Will you run for president? Let me, let me answer the question. I hear all that chatter. It really is a testament to what we've done in the city, and it, and it, and it does make you feel good that people think that you can play on that level. I don't intend to do that. The next question is always, well, will you rule it out? Will you never rule anything out? I don't really know what I'm going to do next.